already at the storage unit and we have sold another this is a used um auto part and it is a rear cover for a gmc yukon to that wait a second it should fit right here why did we get rid of this we could have had a backup <laughs> anyway uh, it sold for like $55, no, $35 plus shipping. Shipping on these are super expensive because they're, they're long. And uh, so they have to go in like an 8x8 by, eight by, I don't know, that's pretty long, like 50 box. And we usually send them UPS, but when you get over 48 inches on UPS, they is, that's when they hit you with their surcharge. At uh, USPS, it's over, what is it, 24 inches? Mm -hmm. They hit you with a surcharge. At UPS, it's actually 48 inches they hit you with a bigger surcharge. So it's very expensive to ship that. So if you are doing long items, make sure you actually put the dimensions in there correctly. On to the other storage unit, we have about 43 other items to pull. We have a lot of sales to go over. Another great weekend of sales. We are just super happy with these. Not a record or anything, but we still did pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, first, William, you bought three of these Duke hats from us. And in the Beer Thrift Machine channel, you saw us pick these up at a yard sale. We just got super lucky on the price. I got eaten up so bad in them comments about not hitting her a little bit lower. We bought 36 hats for like 70 bucks and we bought some other things so it was like $80 all together. We have basically doubled our money already and we still have 30 hats to go. Now all the good ones basically are sold. Now we just have like some more like generic hats. They're still gonna go for like five to 10 bucks. And, you know, easy, like, $150, $200 made. But, wow, did we get beat up, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you just got to, like, you know. Not be mean. Yeah. And like, that pay was her, a like, bit more money. Yeah, so her, her uh, husband had just passed, and that was his stuff. And sometimes you have to gauge that when you do negotiation. People are like, you paid too much. And I was like, yeah. sometimes you just got to, everybody won there. She wanted the hats gone. I paid exactly what she wanted. And everybody, I made triple the money. She got the money she wanted. Everybody walked away happy without being rude. And I think that's the biggest thing in life. Just don't be rude. Yeah. In, in anything that you do, just be nice. Be or kind. greedy. Or greedy. So, anyway, moving on. Off soapbox. Now, Kathy, thank you so much. You bought this. Actually, Kayla said she was going to keep this thing. She I didn't was. realize that we had the dare hat. Um, but we did oh, pick it up. But Kathy, I'm glad it's going to you. Thank you so much for your support. You've been a long-time supporter of this channel. Okay, uh, let's go over. We, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff sold. Let me get my handy dandy. Ain't got no minutes. This thing's just spinning. Put them on dial up. <laughs> I'm going to guesstimate because the, the intro webs aren't working right now. All right, we know the Kachina towel I picked up at the uh, Goodwill for what was it? Three bucks. Sold for $40 plus shipping. The basket weave Arthur cord. Sold for $25 plus shipping on this. We got this for free out of the Tony boxes. Uh, the old Grill Lodge. Uh, that sold for $12 plus shipping. We have two Longenburgers right here that I just hit with the cast iron, which is pretty smart. Longenburger number one. Longenburger number two. I think this one sold for $20 plus shipping and this one $11 plus shipping. I'm going to be kind of close on it, but my phone's not working, so these are kind of be guesstimates. $20 on the Echoes? These things are clean. These aren't water shoes, but they sure look like water shoes. Uh, again, the piano rolls. We've had these for a long time, and now just recently we sold a whole bunch of them. So mm -hmm. they, they do pretty good. Fishing stuff is starting to sell, obviously. This is the brand new fishing. Not brand new. I think it was used. I, I put it as pre-owned. But um, this is a fishing knife on the inside. Electric fishing knife. I think it sold for, what, 30 bucks? We picked it up for two or three. Some pants sold, $12 plus shipping. Vietnam veteran belt buckle sold, brass. I think that sold for $10 plus shipping. A, uh, a collar that we picked up for a couple bucks, that sold for $10 plus shipping. Horn, Boop. cup, $8 plus shipping. Metal box, I'm telling you. If you know me and metal boxes, I love them. I love, And they always sell, they might take 75 years but somebody eventually will want your metal box for twenty dollars plus shipping then some tools sold i always get asked this about like do i clean all my tools and then do i sell them individually no a lot of times we had how many tools 45 million tools in this big thing most were not in that good of condition so i put them in lots here's a lot of tools right here 
Uh, so for 20 bucks plus shipping, and then here's another lot of tools here. I think this one's over $21 shipping. I'm already in the profit on these. This is the most important part. And then basically, I don't clean them. I don't sort them. I don't do nothing. I throw them all on the table. I count what I have. I make sure that they're mostly the same brand. These were all Craftsman. These were all Craftsman. I don't worry about the series numbers. I usually will make sure that they're all vintage. Lights just went out. Nobody's paying the light bill around here. And then I throw them on the table, boop, and then I sell them on auction for super cheap. Went up to 21 bucks, $21, combine it, I put $40 in my pocket. $99 on the TaylorMades, that's pretty good. Another TaylorMade right here sold for $105. Uh, this is a newer club, not any like super new, but definitely a newer club compared to these. These are TaylorMade burners. This is a TaylorMade shop shop shop. And that's all for $109 plus shipping. I forgot the name of it. Then a torque wrench sold for ten dollars plus shipping. This is we actually picked this up for a dollar. This is inch pounds. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? It measures the inches and pounds. It does something. As we were sitting here trying to go through some stuff and pull orders, we sold the Reed and Barton. I forget. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. This is where you put your fine silver at. We picked this up for only three dollars at the Goodwill. Just need a little bit of hinge work on the back. Took a little hammer. Fixed it right up, so for $75 plus shipping, they are, Tom is $112 all in, so thank you, Tom. I don't think that you're a viewer, but um, you said thanks, so thank you. Then, we had also Keith. You bought all the Zippo from us. We do appreciate it. I'm going to go put this stuff down there, and we'll go over the rest. Alrighty, remember my 70 cent books? Another one sold. This one's really in good condition. This is uh, Wuthering Heights. You ever read that, Wuthering Heights? Yeah. No? It's not about. It's a classic. A uh, little house here sold, $10 plus shipping. These are the ones that you were a little skeptical on. I bought them because the guy was cool. Who else does it? I actually got that question in the uh, comments down below about, do you ever just buy stuff because the people are so nice? The answer is yes. <laughs> if they're like super cool people and they have some halfway decent stuff, consider it sold. Just, uh, JVC bought this at a... Uh, Salvation Army $10, so for $45 plus shipping, and that sold very quickly. A uh, Sony Walkman that doesn't work, so for like 30 bucks. Hopefully they read that it doesn't work. A Airsoft, we just picked this thing up. This is an Airsoft. Boop, 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 boop. I'm at the loss of words today. Like, it's late. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it is late. <laughs> We've had a long day. It's a Sunday, and uh, I just can't formulate my words. What is this thing? It's a butt stock. An airsoft buttstock from Magpul sold, and then we had another lot of pools sold. These sold for 17 bucks plus shipping, barely fitting in the old uh, pad of flat rate. I'm gonna have to clear Keep take that bad boy. Some true spec pants sold. I think these were what, 15 bucks plus shipping. 36 dollars for the Under Armour uh, Storms that we just picked up for five bucks at a yard sale like less than a week ago. Cleaver, leave it to Cleaver sold. Get it. Leave it to Beaver Cleaver rhymes. Anyway, fourteen or fifteen dollars plus shipping on that. Who remembers back in the day when I bought all the VHS and everybody's like, "You're dumb." Possibly I was, but they still sell once a month. Five of them at this rate, we will be sold out of these by the age of fifty-five. So <laughs> that's not bad. Then we had a Sony sell. This one sold for $35 plus shipping. This is a five CD changer. Worst thing about those, 93% chance it'll be damaged in shipping because there's a base on the inside that can flop out of there. You gotta support that thing, Majiggy. It's a tray. Them trays just boo, go around. So you're so, gonna pack yeah, that I'll one. pack that one in. And then um, some Hallmark stuff. So we always, actually we're doing super good on these Hallmarks. They don't sell for much, maybe five to $10 a piece. We got them from free from Tony. Mm -hmm. If you didn't watch those videos on the Beard Thrift Machine channel, she gave us a ton of free inventory. We sell them on Whatnot, we sell them on uh, you, YouTube. <laughs> no, we sell them on Whatnot, we sell them on eBay. And as you can tell, we only actually have five, four or five boxes left. So um, we are cruising through those. And also tell us down below, Kayla and I were thinking about going um, live on this channel, maybe like once a month. And if you like that idea, it'd be like questions and answers and stuff like that. Only for about an hour, maybe. It'd be probably on like a Tuesday or something. Not Tuesday. Wednesday. I don't know. We'll figure out the day. But if you guys would be interested and would watch something like that, if we go live and it'd be basically just questions and answers about really anything eBay related, YouTube related, anything related, comment down below and we can definitely start making that happen. At least once a month. I yeah. think that'd be pretty good. So uh, we're going to go home and start packing. And considering it is now... 
Seven oh, we also had a lot of other sales. Let me go over some sales that are at the house. Uh, we had a pair of jeans, a short sale for fourteen fifty. They're going to be looking. Oh, this the this sold actually for twenty five dollars. I said fifteen dollars. Actually, sold for twenty five dollars plus shipping. They are expensive Magpul stuff. That is not for a real AR fifteen. That's for the airsoft. It is uh, on the back of it. It is called PTS magpool if you try to put this on ebay and don't put that it's for airsoft this will be flagged in a heartbeat because it's for a rifle a semi-automatic rifle but they you can't sell anything that has to do with an ar-15 or any type of semi-automatic magazine fed rifle on ebay they flag it anyway mac tools front and alignment pass-through socket and ratchet set sold almost instantaneously for 112 dollars plus shipping i could have underpriced that and I think that does round it out. I think that's the only stuff. Oh, we had a little trinket box. We've had this thing forever. I never, I never ever did I ever <laughs> list it. And it just sat in a box for like two years. And then I finally listed this from East Carolina Silver Company quadruple plate hinged jewelry box. So for $19.99. So as I sit here and cook some delicious burgers for Kayla and I, I'm minding my own business and uh, get a message on eBay that we have a return. Not a big deal, we get returns all the time. Not really all the time, but they've been prevalent in the last couple of weeks. And it was for a golf club, which I thought maybe was broken or something. The return stated that said, hey, you sent me the wrong golf club, this should be a black headed golf club, like has a black head. And I was like, no, the picture clearly it looks like it's a silver one. I said it's a black dot. It's a ping I2 black dot. The guy said, no, that's not right. And the guy said, no, you know, my other golf clubs are black. This is silver. I want a refund. I said, well, ping I2 doesn't have a black golf club. I said, they, the new ones are probably black. I know a couple of those are. Some of them are gunmetal. I said, but a ping I2, it's copper or silver. It's the only two colors you got. He said, nope, you're wrong. He said, you're a horrible seller. He said, shake my head. Um, he said, I want to return. I said, not a big deal. I said, I'm going to send you the label, obviously. I accept the return. I said, I'll give you a full refund once you send it back to me. He was very rude up until that point. After I said that and told him that they don't have black golf clubs of that Ping I-2s, there's just, I looked them up. There's, there's nothing there. I said, I'm Googling it. I'm looking it up just to see what type of golf club you have so I can be on the lookout for it. I was very nice. And uh, then he said, I got a, you know, I accepted the return, and then immediately after that, the return closed. He wrote back, hey, sorry for the confusion, I'm actually doing another set, I, uh, I like this golf club, thank you so much. That right there to me is 100% a scam, he wanted me to just say, oh, I'm so sorry, and then send him his money, and he could keep the golf club. That's why I always say, no matter what it is, I always have them open up return first, even if I'm going to give them a full refund and they can keep the item. Sometimes I do that, depends on the situation. This situation, I wanted it back, and that's why I do that. Open a return up, because a lot of times, they don't send it back, or it's something like this, where he then cancels it. So, I wanna go ahead and continue on cooking the burgers here, and then, um, you know, just just, just be on the lookout for them eBay people. They, they sometimes do a little scam of lamb.